Hey, Theo. It's Mother's Day today. Have you said Happy Mother's Day to your mom yet? First Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Well, we've had Mother's Days before. She had fur kids, but this one's a little different. This one's a little more special. I've been waiting a long time. Did you say Happy Mother's Day? Oh, you did? Okay, good. He's been talking all day. He's been saying all the things. And all night. We have a very chatty baby. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He, he's a, he's a lively little dude. Hey buddy, are you talking to your fishy friends right now? Yeah? Oh, he's looking at the milk. Little milk monster. You just ate like six ounces, man. He's still hungry? So it is Mother's Day 2023. Her big day. <clears throat> My voice just cracked. Her big day! It's so, it's so awesome. I'm exhausted, that's why my voice is cracking. Uh, so, when I got home last night, or yesterday, <clears throat> I wanted her to get a full night's sleep. So I took the night shift, the morning shift, I just wanted her to sleep as much as she could, as much as she wanted. And I figured, ah, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll watch Theo and he'll let me get like four hours, maybe three, four hours of sleep, I'll be fine. I didn't get five minutes. Five minutes. No. He woke up. I guess I got about an hour between one and two. And he woke up around 2 a.m. And I took him out here to change him, feed him, put him back down. Wouldn't go back to sleep. Did this. What he's doing right now. The whole night. The whole night. He's not a miserable baby. He's just very chatty. He doesn't want to sleep right now. He's going through a phase. That six week sleep regression. That's seven weeks. Yeah, no, he wasn't crying, he wasn't upset, he was fed, he had a clean diaper. He was just sitting here, chatting away to himself, and to his little friends up here. Mr. Crab. Crab in the game. Yeah, all night. Didn't sleep a wink, and neither did your dad. So it's been a bit of an exhausting day, but the day's not about me. At least, mommy's rested. That's what matters today. Father's Day's coming. It was a rough week. I didn't sleep much more than three, three and a half hours a night for six nights straight. But, but I function better on lack of sleep than Josh does. Josh is more of a sleeper than I am. Yeah, no, I need my sleep. That doesn't mean I don't like sleep. It's just that I can function well without it. I, I don't. I need at least four hours usually. And only one or two nights in a row, and then I need an eight-hour night. But it's, uh... It's I can little... go six, seven nights. Oh. But I'm biologically engineered to be able to do that. He's not. So it's been interesting. So I had a whole bunch of stuff planned, and I <laughs> wanted to be vlogging throughout the entire day. And I've just been trying to get my mind going most of the day. Mr. Chatty Chatter over here. Seriously, he hasn't stopped since 2 a.m. He's still going. That's okay. At least he's happy, right? It's not It's not sad or angry sounds. It's, he's happy. And he keeps making these happy sounds. It just kept kept your daddy up all night. I wasn't planning on doing an all-nighter, so... If, you know, if I would have had my mindset in that zone, maybe it would have been a little different, but... Ah, whatever. Come here, Squish. Hi. Hi. Come here. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Did you make me a mommy? Yeah. Are you my little present? I did get a really awesome spa package from this guy and his daddy, but... This is my main present. And I asked her what she wanted to do for Mother's Day. Anything she wanted. She just wanted to spend time with me and Theo. Get some sunshine. Yeah, we're going to go on a walk yet. Mm -hmm. We went to the mall a little before in Steinbeck. Got some clothes. Yeah. Josh made me breakfast, pancakes mm -hmm. and bacon. Blueberry pancakes and bacon. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was actually lunch because by the time he could actually function-ish, it was afternoon. 
it's okay. You're worth it. Yeah, making plans when we have newborns. A newborn, are you kidding me? Incredible. Silly mom and dad, yeah. Just in awe. Yeah. Your boo, your boo. <laughs> I think he's in awe with my hat. It's my mommy. You're such a cute hat. So cute. So cute. He has Diesel's voice, yes. Clearly. We're aware. Mr. Q Chinese Restaurant here in Steinbach. It's our favorite in town. Delicious food. Shout out. Shout out to them. Have you ever been in Steinbach? You like Chinese food? Check out Mr. Q. It's right across from Giant Tiger, which is sort of like Canada's version of Walmart, but not quite there. This is a Canadian Walmart, Giant Tiger. It's right across. It's right here. Mr. Q's Restaurant. Definitely worth it. Britt wanted Chinese for Mother's Day today, so Britt is getting Chinese for Mother's Day. I've never actually been to China, so I don't know if the Chinese food we have here in North America is anything like the food in China. I think it's been Americanized or North Americanized. Either way, I love it. I love it. But has anyone actually been to China? Is the food the same? It'd be kind of disappointing if it wasn't, right? <laughs> Not for you guys, no. Am I interrupting a Mother's Day moment? No, we were snuggling out on the porch and then he went to sleep finally, so... Sure, now he goes to sleep. Just needed mommy's touch. That's all. And he slept in your arms, no problem. Yeah. He's just, he's a very snuggly baby. He's happiest in someone's arms. That's why I call him Squish. He likes being squished. <laughs> this is my favorite chicken balls. Yeah, we got a lot of them. They're both our favorites. <laughs> Got honey garlic and sweet and sour sauce. And what's this? Shrimp chow mein with veggies to make it look like we eat healthy. We don't. <laughs> One of the things I love about getting Chinese food is they give you such large portions. You always have leftovers. Always. Always. You buy Chinese food once and you eat for like three meals or at least two. The best thing about Mr. Q's is they don't use MSG, so I don't feel like garbage after I eat their food. I feel totally normal and I digest well. No stomach aches, no blah, weighed down feeling. It's awesome. Such a good restaurant. Yeah, I was telling them it's like our favorite in town. Yeah. It's worth stopping in there if you come. Or if you're from here and you haven't been there yet and you like Chinese food. Why haven't you tried Mr. Q's yet? Yeah. Why not? You're missing out. It's really busy though, so make call sure you, uh, you call ahead. I called at 11.30 this morning to place this order. <laughs> For 6 p.m. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Hey, Theo. What do you think of the idea of going for a walk? Yeah? Let's do it. Got the door. this. neighborhood getting to know the town a little better walking down streets we haven't walked down before it's amazing how many new places you see when you walk as opposed to just drive through when you drive through it you miss everything 
And when you walk through, you see all kinds of new things. What was that? More new perspective on things when you walk. Yeah. And it feels better, too. Right or left? Well, Diesel, next time you can come with us. We went without the dogs this time. It was just a walk for us. We'll see for mom.